Hey, tap into good health. I never head out without my New York City tap water. Hot outside. I urge every New Yorker to drink up. Tap water is the best. How funny is this? He sounds like a used car salesman trying to market New York City tap water. This is a perfect example of these evil psychos pretending to help you while in reality they're harming you. Saying, oh, you should drink water to stay cool and hydrated without disclosing all of the chemicals and poisons they dump in the tap water. The funniest part about this is he didn't even drink it. You can hear some weird inhaling sound when he tries to drink it, but it's not a slurp. And then when he closes his mouth after drinking the tap water, he doesn't even gulp or swallow. He just goes like this. Mmm, that's good. I think this was intentional because these people aren't stupid. You know, this is the natural law disclosure that you shouldn't drink this water. Him subtly not actually drinking it. Now, I've done a video on fluoride, many videos on water, so if you want research and studies, you can look those up on my channel. But this video that I saw earlier this week explains the problem more entertainingly. The Kensico Reservoir. While sampling up until this point gives DEP staff a good idea of what's in the water, this is the first point where they act on that knowledge and add to it. This process begins at the exit tunnels of the Kensico Reservoir. Here, chlorine is first added to kill off any lingering microorganisms. Because chlorine levels dissipate over distance traveled though, chlorine is again mixed into the water supply at the nearby Hillview Reservoir, then for water headed all the way to Staten Island, again at the Richmond Chlorination Facility. Along with chlorine, the DEP also adds fluoride to combat cavities, orthophosphate to limit lead leakage from pipes, and sodium hydroxide to balance the water's pH level. The amount of chlorine and fluoride they put in the water is insane. You know, I'm in New York and the town regularly sends us letters warning us not to drink the water. They literally tell you that they're poisoning you. For safety is nothing short of a plot to destroy people's bodies and brains. And with all this crazy stuff going on in the world, the reason I preach health and nutrition is because if the person is not taken off the poisonous government food supply and water, they will not have the mental capacity to change. There are mind-altering chemicals and poisons in our food and water that will prevent a person from waking up. Which got me thinking, do the elite of New York have their own special water supply that isn't filled with all of these chemicals. And yeah, they could just use very expensive filtration systems or drink bottled water, but if I had to place a bet, I would guess that certain locations and buildings in the city have some sort of special water pipe connected to a clean aqueduct water source, you know, especially 10, 20, 30 million dollar apartments. I don't think a plumber or laborer on a construction site would know this. It would probably be some high level decision maker at the company that is hooking up the main water lines to the initial project. Even so, how would they know what type of water is coming out of which pipe? They don't have the ability to test it, they're just being told which pipe to hook up to the building. And as much as Eric Adams is an evil puppet, uh, the purpose of these types of people, Eric Adams as the mayor, is so that the masses funnel their hate into one specific person as opposed to trying to figure out who's behind them. You know, it's just ridiculous, shameful stuff. Honestly, how do these bootlickers sleep at night? Mayor Adams defends subway saxophonist arrest, says he's proud of officers. Mayor Eric Adams again defended the arrest of a beloved subway saxophonist Tuesday, telling reporters that the NYPD acted appropriately when they removed him from the Herald Square station. Eric Adams defends shrinking New York City school budgets by 215 million. Mayor Eric Adams insisted on Monday that his decision to shrink New York City public school budgets by 215 million due to lower enrollment doesn't count as a cut. It's bad. Eric Adams admits being shocked by the sorry state of New York City. 
Mayor Eric Adams had no idea how rotten the Big Apple was at its core before taking office, telling the Post he was shocked to learn just how bad this place is. <laughs> oh man, that, that uh, reporter, journalist, whatever that was writing that article must have been cracking up as he was typing these sentences. How can they do this with a straight face? The only thing that's rotten is you and your buddies. It's disgusting how this guy will get people to believe he's helping them and then go eat caviar with the suited up rats that think they're better than everyone else. Uh, so I know this was a little late, but I've been wanting to do this video for a few weeks now. Uh, maybe we'll talk about the New York City congestion pricing too. Uh, that seems to be a pretty hot topic. But outside of that, if you guys have anything you would like me to talk about, definitely let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for joining me. If you'd like to support me further, you can check out frank stefanocom But outside of that, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.